It requires a bigger brain to play it. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a playthrough of the Better Soul Striker. This is a new Better Soul Striker. This card's awesome. I know uh, it caught a lot of flack when it first came out because people were like, oh, this is a worse Soul Striker, but it's actually a Better Soul Striker. It requires a bigger brain to play it. Um, it's not as same thing every time as Soul Striker. This leader, basically the way that it works is you get five sands in your drop area, you awaken by putting them under, and then you draw three cards and untap an energy. That's crazy. There's no other leader in the game that nets four. Surge leaders netted four, but you're always minusing two to surge. So this leader's crazy because it draws you three cards and untaps an energy. And then every turn you swing when you're awakened, you untap an energy and draw a card. Mono blue, but still really good. And then once per game, you can remove three or more battle cards from under under this dude give him a plus 2k boost for each card you remove and if you remove three or more you untap an energy and draw a card so that's just gonna happen once per game but you know some people some people say oh like you know you got to put sands in your drop area blah 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 all the best blue and yellow cards are sands anyway so there's no reason to not be playing this dude because he just synergizes so well with everything that's good that's blue and yellow so i put together a blue yellow list and uh, if you look in the description there'll be a link to dbs decks for the profile i'm not just going to go through the deck i'm just going to show how it plays and talk about my sequencing and how I like to play it. And if this is you guys' first time here and you want to see deck playthroughs and trip them all the time, go ahead and smush that subscription button. But let's get into this playthrough. All right, so we're going to grab our opening hand here. That's five, six. This is actually a really good opening hand, really strong. I'm just going to keep everything that's in here. So the game plan basically is we want to get four or five sands in our drop area. Once we get five sands in our drop area, ideally on turn three, we can awaken. So we're going to roll here and see, all right, so we're going, we got a six and our opponent gets a six and we get a five and our opponent gets a six. So we're going to be going second. So they're going to charge, do whatever, pass, we'll draw for our turn and we want to charge a multicolor. So I'm going to charge this Vegeta Kaba and then they're going to go, they'll, or then we're going to swing here for our first swing. And when we swing, we'll discard a San and draw a card and probably not going to take the life here we'll just let them deal the damage uh pass turn and then they're gonna you know swing it up we'll do the same thing to discard a sand draw a card and take that hit and if they do it again if they swing again you can discard again yeah so if they swing again we can discard again for another battle and we'll take that hit also and then we'll go into our turn draw a card we're going to charge something here so Charging a boo is fine. You can get it back with Zeno if you need it. Um, we're at three in drop, so we're not going to awaken this turn, which is fine. So we'll swing at their leader with our leader. Same thing. We're going to discard a sand, draw a card, and, uh, you know, they'll either take that or not take that. And then we can just go ahead and set up some East Kai's, draw off East Kai and no reason to not play two east kai's unless they have a way of removing them then you don't want to play them obviously but putting two east kai's down is you know a pain for them to have to deal with so on their turn they're going to do the same thing they're going to swing into us we're going to discard draw and we'll probably take that hit and uh if they swing again we can just do the same thing or now that we have five cards in our drop area if they swing at us we can just dimension magic Take that life and untap two cards. And then if they try and play something, you can just go ahead and Zamasu it, rest it, draw a card. Now we have three cards in board, pretty good. All right, so we're gonna draw for our turn and this is gonna be our big turn, we're gonna awaken here. So we wanna charge a mono blue energy. We'll charge this Beerus Destroys. So those are three energy and then the first thing we wanna do is actually use some energy. So uh, a couple things you can do, you can actually just go into tapping out basically here because they may or may not be awakened at this point it's turn three i mean if they are then you know this won't work as well but you still can do this you can uh swing with zamasu combo a blue yellow to go to 10k and then arrival kefla to bottom deck something um when you arrival kefla you can awaken by taking three five sands from your drop area putting them under your leader You'll untap an energy and draw a card. So, you know, Kefla comes in, she'll bottom deck something. Kefla comes in, 
dunks something. She just straight up drops on the board and dunks it. I don't know if you guys know what Kefal does, but she is a, she bottom decks any battle card ignoring barrier. She's insane. So Kefal comes in, dunks on whatever they're swinging with. This is gonna go to the drop area after that swing. And then once Kefla's on board, you can say, oh yeah, I got another Kefla in my hand. So you can just discard Kefla, draw two cards. And if we really want to go big here, we can, you know, you can swing with Kefla. She's dual attack, double strike. So she's just going to double dunk on them twice. 30k double strike, dual attack. That's a lot to deal with. And then you can go and swing with your leader. When you swing with your leader, you're going to untap one mono blue and draw a card. That's, oh yeah. Okay. So here, so you can beam this energy back up. And now you have four battle cards in your battle area. So you can actually just tap out and play this energetic frenzy Kefla. This card is awesome. So you pay this card cost gets reduced by each blue battle card. And right now you have four. So she becomes a three cost. So you can just pay three for her, slam her down. And she says, good night, sweet prince. Uh, actually what she does is she, um, she, you can activate main on her, draw two cards. And at the beginning of your opponent's next turn, you untap two energy. So you can actually get two energy back at the beginning of the next turn. And then you can swing with her. She's a 25K swing and they'll have to deal with that. And then here you pass, you know, they're gonna they're gonna swing at you. You can uh, dimension magic, take a life, untap two energy. And oh, look at this, another bean, lucky us. So you got two open now. And then uh, depending on what they try to do, if they wanna swing into you again, you know, you can super combo and grab this Beerus Destroys and put in, uh, you know, we got a lot of boos here, so we can put another boo in here uh, to combo out of that. And then, you know, if you really need to, if you just need like another 2K to get out of it, if they're at like 25 and you're at 25 right now, you can activate battle, remove one of these and go to 27 kind of cool move oh i forgot we were supposed to untap off of her we would have had two energy open so would have had one extra life whoops anyway okay so we're gonna draw a card here for our turn charge this dude again um so now you have a pretty serious board like if they're not removing these cards these cards are just gonna gain you so much value over the turn like if they don't get rid of her you can just right off the bat um activate main off her draw a card and uh or draw two cards whoops and then you can do stuff like boo unison boo unison is really really good he's nasty he's a nasty nasty boy he comes out with four markers on him and then you can just plus minus zero and draw another card going with your leader swing with your leader when you swing with your leader you're going to untap a mono blue yeah draw a card yeah 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 and we're going in there we are going in there so my favorite play now is like you know, they deal with this, they do this stuff. Boo's gonna untap an energy. She's gonna untap two energy. So you can just tap out, pay one for Kale. And Kale allows you to go in your drop area and grab a uh, U6 energy cost of three or more. So you can just grab Kefla from your drop area and say, oh yeah, you had an energy open. Sorry, go ahead and rest that energy because Kefla's about to dunk on you again. And then you draw two more cards and you rest one of their energy. And then, you know, Kefla's got dual attack, double strike again. She's doing her thing. She's gonna swing again. Boo swings for 20 double. And then on at the beginning of your turn, you're gonna untap for Boo. And then you're gonna untap one for for energetic frenzy kefla and you're gonna untap another one for her so you're at three energy untap here at the beginning of the opponent's next turn she can't be ko'd she's chilling they want to get rid of her definitely want to get rid of her boo untaps also here you know you can you can do the same thing just like play defense if they're going to play something you can god sealing it off boo um uh you can zamasu something coming in rest it draw another card and uh you know, if they're gonna swing in at your leader a couple times, just like throw a bean on your leader, make them have to deal with that. And then they play something else and you just play another Zamasu, just resting everything, just put their entire board to sleep. Just say, sorry, your whole board is gonna be asleep. Um, and then we'll say, you know, like they, they swing, you, you can rest some, you just super combo and rest something with Zamasu. You know, all just really, really strong cards. So we're gonna go back into our turn. Yeah, we're pretending like they didn't, like people are gonna remove these cards. These cards are too good. They're, you, there's no way you're gonna let Kefla sit there. Kefla is just too strong. Or the East Kai's like, they're gonna put removal into something, but we're gonna pretend like they haven't removed anything and we just have the God board. And we'll say maybe they got Boo down to like two markers or something somehow. Same thing, we'll just charge something blue, that's fine. Um, and then just do everything again. You just do her thing, draw two cards, uh, play another Kale and grab the Kefla again. 
You can just keep doing this. It's just all day. You know, even if even if you get rid of Kefla, you just play her, and then you play another Kale and grab the other Kefla, and then just do the same thing. Discard Kefla, rest one of their energy, draw two cards. We just drew four cards off of like doing nothing. This is crazy. This is absolute madness. We have two gorgeous looking Kefla cards on the board. They're so shiny. You swing with their your leader, uh, draw a card, untap an energy, and then. Um, you know then you swing with uh kefla and they're like oh i'm gonna gonna i'm gonna negate that attack and you say nope you're not gonna negate that attack because you're gonna counter counter with a golden ape you counter their counter bottom deck something draw a card and then you know you just do the whole thing so there's this is a triple strike double strike dual attack another 25k you got a 20k double strike dude and then at some point you know like you're swinging with this guy right and they're like oh yeah i don't uh no negates right they're foolish enough to say no negates well you just remove these cards you untap an energy draw a card this is our leaders and then guess what you got some beans you throw a bean on there there's one bean you throw another bean on there another bean and then you super combo this man with your gorgeous new collector selection super combo so you can arrival another kefla are you kidding me just dunk on him you just dunk on everybody this is like constant dunking it's like you're you're the star of the nba and you're just dunking on them with keflas and the board you can build with this deck is just crazy anyway i'm not going to continue pushing this because i think you get the point and then you hatch them and it's just like you know it's bad news for them but yeah this deck is crazy i love it i'm having a lot of fun with it um check out the deck list downstairs in the deck profile or in the uh description um i'm definitely going to be running this i'm having a lot more fun than playing soul striker with it you know soul striker just after a while just you're doing the same thing over and over and this has variety this is a lot of spice there's lots of cool stuff the energetic frenzy kefla is insane and you can just keep grabbing them with kales or keep grabbing your keflas with kales it's really 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 fun uh, I'm Joku DMD. Thanks for watching this. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be get yourself a power brush, Sonicare, Protective Clean, 4700. Go check out at dental.dmd on Instagram. I do tons of dental tips and I talk about all this stuff. You can take great care of your teeth and wax people with your trading cards. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, I've been coming to Los Angeles and getting fabric since I was since I was a young man. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta do this again. I've been coming to Los Angeles and getting fabric since I was a young man, and now I'm a very old man. But my friend here, Mikey, hi, has been hooking me up with the shiniest fabrics. Hi. So if you're looking to get yourself some fabrics and you want to get pants looking like this, you want to get in Joku's pants, you're gonna to need to come to Mikey's Fabrics in That's Los a good Angeles. Talent. Yeah, look yeah, at this. Good. Look at this place. It's called Fabric Heaven. I've been, every single pair of pants I've made for the last 10 years have had this fabric in the pants. Well, guess where I get that? It's right here. You can't get it anywhere else because it's Versace fabric and I've been using it before Versace. So you should come here, say hi to Mikey, right tell, him, yeah. tell him Joku sent you and buy yourself some fabric so you can make yourself some shiny pants. Thank you so much.